Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to a new video concerning the sketch solver of the new NX 1926. What you see here is my guitar building website and I have a blog included to share, well, files like the XF files. And one of my exercises that I do with my students concerning the import of DXF and creation of auto constraints is this little fretboard calculator. Each fretboard on each guitar model has a different scale and I'm using this DXF calculator to define the fret positions. So you can download from here. I'm going to link the site in the description below to give you ability to download this DXF. And what I want to do, I want to compare the old sketch type with the new sketch solver because DXF, as you all know, does not include any kind of constraints, just the curves. And there will be a lot of constraints missing. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the old sketch type to create auto constraints and afterwards compare it to the new sketch solver. And my intent is to show up how important constraints are within Siemens and X and how to solve the constraint issue. So I have already disabled the new solver. So what I got to do is to import my curves. Here they are. It's a non time sum geometry, as you can see, and I'm going to create a sketch and import the curves. The only way to do that, which really makes sense is to add curves which is also possible within the new sketch type, of course, and via control and A, I'm going to select all the curves. The question which disappeared now was whether to turn off auto dimension or not. So I turn it off, of course, and you can see there are still 146 constraints missing in a sum. It must be more because I got all the consistent constraints, which were inferred by an X as because create invert constraints is enabled. So what I have to do next is use auto constraint. And I'm going to set all and I'm going to select all the curves. And also the apply remote constraints needs to be enabled to make sure that there is every possible constraint being created. You can see it's only four constraints missing. That's pretty good. What we need is a dimension for the scale value and just to explain, this is on the guitar. This is somehow the fretboard layout, but fretboard must be limited somewhere here at this area. And this point is my guitar saddle on the headstock position of the guitar. And this point is the saddle on the body position of the guitar. That's the overall distance. And this one is my 12th fret on the guitar. So it's exactly the center, as you can see when having a look at this horizontal constraint. So what I have to do, because there are still constraints missing, is to select this point and this curve and use the midpoint constraint. And now it's two constraint missing and these are pretty easy to find. I just have to move my overall sketch and you can see it's not positioned. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my sketch origin, therefore, and it's not listed just because maybe my mouse movement was a little bit too fast. So I'm going to select again. Here it is. Coincident. And here we are. My sketch is fully constrained. This was so simple in the past and the sketch could be much more complex than it actually is. What you also can do, of course, is using sketch groups and there wouldn't be a single constraint necessary by using sketch groups. The only thing you got to do is position the overall group and define a dimension. When I'm talking about sketch groups, I mean the scalable group, of course. But that's not the topic right now. So I'm going to leave it as it is and finish my sketch. I'm going to hide my sketch. And you can see the non time sum geometry, of course, is part of my sketch. So it's no more a non time sum geometry like usually it still is, but it's part of the sketch. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to import new curves. I'm going to import the same curves again. But now have a look at the new sketch solver. And therefore, of course, I have to switch via file utilities feature toggles. I'm going to search for sketch. Here it is. Right click, turn it on and now create a new sketch. 
I'm going to finish this command and have a look at my import possibilities. Here you can see a new command, which is called include. It is a, well, it is different. We still have project curves. Projection means you have all the curves aligned within your sketch plane from no matter where they come from. You get add curves, meaning it's not an associative relation. It's an adding of the curves, so they're going to be cut and pasted. And we got include. And include is a mixture. Curves are not going to be projected and they're not going to be cut. But topic today is the add curves. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select Control and A to select all the curves. Sketch is partially defined and you won't receive an information of how many constraints are missing. But that's not important. The only thing you got to do is create one dimension to drive your overall sketch. That's what I do in here and define your value. That's it. Everything else will be scaled automatically. There is no need of a constraint. And yes, we have constraints and still constraints are required, but mostly inferred by the system. If I select one of these lines, you can see we've got the point on curve, we got all the horizontal and vertical relations somehow. And we also have a coincident relation here at this position. Because it's my origin here, that's why my movement is only done in this area. And you can even use drag and drop and you will see there is no problem, of course, when it's too small, but even this is no problem because this is the way how the sketch is working. Even if it's not fully constrained, it's not that important anymore. I hope you learned something from that. And if you have any concerns about this, what I'm saying, let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to an interesting discussion concerning the new NX 1926. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and enable the bell if you haven't yet. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.